because um, they're one of the 90s up and coming bands. And um, I think they've got a lot to say about rock music. You want to catch the thrust. Because we see the bananas are sort of really uh, making a thrust. Uh, to walk. Yeah, they're right for real thrust. It's a bit of a thrust. some of the musical instruments as used by the Bernards in transit. Possibly one of the greatest bands in the world. A little unknown and unrecognised at the moment, but about to change. And here's some of my guitars. Could you, you talk us through these, please, Jason? Just so. uh, yeah, I can. I can. This is a um, electro-classical guitar. Oh, I see. So, yeah, if I'll, I'll open the shirt, you'll we'll see the carry effect. Um, let's get out of the case. And uh, you see, it's, it's like... Uh, It's kind of that, but we use it in softer moments in the band, not, not, you know. It's sort of a... Yeah. That sort of thing. That's, that's lovely. That lovely, is. yeah. What's that called, Jason, that one? Because that's, that's beautiful. That it's called Eat Marshmallows Off My Willy. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Oh, Ward. Uh, oh, sorry to disturb you while you're, uh, while you're getting ready, but... Um, I just wonder if I could have a couple of words, you know, just sort of like... Get the picture, as it were, before you know you go on. Um, a lot of people, especially uh, recently in Kerrang, have described your music as a kind of retro, auto reverse kind of uh, heavy thrash jazz rock kind of funk. I mean, other people have described it as a kind of, I don't know, thrash jazz, if you like, or a kind of funk jazz, other people. A kind of junk, if you will. Um, put your finger here for a minute, please, so I can take my shoe lace up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm on the camera. All right. Um, how would you describe your music? Well, I wouldn't. Hey, not if I wanted anyone to come. Ah. No, I just sort of... Uh, so you go along with Axel Rose's uh, recent estimation that uh, your music is a, a pile of steaming shite, I think he said. Well, I wouldn't... I wouldn't so I'd say a pile. <laughs> Bases. Oh, I, oh right, yeah. I don't play those. Bases, yeah. Uh, Bases, uh, it's four strings. Oh right, yeah. It's four strings. <laughs> Do you think this is going to be as crowded as the Wembley gig? Hey? Do you think this is going to be as crowded as the Wembley gig? Well, I don't know. I mean, we have Beatles supporters, so I mean, that, that you know, made yeah. it a little bit better. I'm yeah. sure we'll come up on our own. Well, it should be about, what, yeah. 10, 15, Thousand. Well, maybe 20 people. I mean, those... I mean, what can you say about our band that hasn't already been said? I mean, it's, it's difficult really to sort of to sum up in a few words the essence that is bananas in transit. So I won't bother. But, um, you know. I feel like privileged to play with the other members. That's all I can say. And play with the others, others members. <laughs> it's just a, it's such a privilege. I can't, I can't. Who were misses? Yes, I can't really describe. But that's the only reason I'm in the band. Simon Rothwell, you're the lead vocalist uh, in the band. Yeah. How do you feel about life in the bits? I mean, is it rewarding to you? I mean, do you feel as though you found your niche in life now? Is this what you want to do with your life? Uh, no. no, I mean, what are you looking for? I mean, uh, well, I'd, I'd, I'd like to be a bricklayer. Uh, right. Yeah, this is the same as the uh, as right. so. That's really, that's really incredible. Yeah. Are you making much money out of this this train? Um, no, it's actually costing me um, like two hundred pounds a week of painting to be in the band. So you're pretty damn dedicated to what you're doing, though. Uh, no, just poor. My fender. Oh, your fender. My fender, not not like something you put on the fire. This. Oh, yeah, I was going to no, ask yeah, actually. Yeah, this is actually my fender Telecaster. Oh right. Um, I don't know why it's called Telecaster, but, but it is. And That's it. Isn't that a Stratocaster? I thought it was a Stratocaster. No, no, no. Stratocasters have two cutaways. Oh, two. An extra pair, you see. But this is like it's like uh, lovely. Yeah, that, that's great. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, say that. Oh, no, no, this is the sustain. Yeah. That's lovely that's, sustain. Yeah, I like that. Goes on forever, ever. Yeah, oh, it's still going now. Isn't it? it's, it's still, still, it's still going now. It's reverberating through the wood. Oh right, yeah. That's very clever. They they make them like that, don't they? Well, they use special wood. Oh, I see. Uh, from the uh, Amazon rainforest. Oh. Right. 
there's been a bit of fuss about that, but I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, have the bank been very cooperative? No, no, but then again, we didn't expect it to be really. I'm in the band is because I couldn't find anyone else. Ah, right. I'm sure they feel the same way about you. Uh, uh, this, this, this is a good band. Uh, yeah, that's lovely. My, that's lovely, that one. Oh, absolutely. It, it, it's like it's gorgeous. A real sort of thrusting instrument. Yeah, yeah, great. Could I, yeah. Could I just, uh, oh, uh, not, not too much. No, I, I was just, 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 just having just a minute. Just, just, just a bit of a... That's enough. Okay. Yeah. I'll just... Chris. Chris, can I borrow your car to go back to Primrose Street to recharge the batteries on this video again? Hello! Oh, man! Oh, man! Again, the new sound check! What did she say? I'm the official fan club! Oh, right, okay. Well, maybe you're... <laughs> Well, how about women? I mean, we saw earlier on that you um, have a real problem with... You <coughs> have a real problem with... Uh, there's a lot of more fans there waiting to get to the gig. So, oh, yeah. you, have, you have a big problem with, uh, with women constantly attacking you, hassling you for sex. Young, mobile, young ladies with trim figures and firm, pert breasts. Um, constantly troubling you about sex and yeah. wanting to jump on your bones and trying to get your penis inside when it's figure puzzle. You find this a problem? Right, well. I'm shitting myself! One, two, three, Yeah. But there you are. So this is the, the sort of a, the stage equipment. Some of the, the equipment stage of, a, gear of a stage a gig, guitar you know. player, an axe man, axe as, man. as yeah, you might like to be man described. Yeah, that's, that's what some people say. You know. And but, uh, yeah, these are some like bass amplifications. I see. It's very bass, bass. These big boxes here. Amps. Amps. Oh right, amps. Not big boxes. Well, they're great. Although you know, to a untrained eye, you know. Yeah, yeah. It could look like a big box. It, do, it does have a big boxy and, feel. Well, sometimes when Johnson plays it, it sounds like one as well. Oh, I see. But, um, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. What do you think of the attire? This suit and Okay, let's get, a, let's get of the attire. If you'd like to stand back, Mr. Oh. Dun dun dun! Drummer man! Oops. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just this damn thing falling in front of the lens. We've got to take it off. Okay, that's a good idea. Drummer man. From his feet. To the top of his head. That's really very interesting, Mr. <laughs> Elwood. Thank you. You know, getting those 
three gig nerves. I thought they're building up there, they sort of uh, the stomach, the butterflies working, there. Working up, and, and before I could get like sort of release them. They'll come out, will they? <coughs> you know, I saw Mick Jagger doing that, sort of a console, all these butterflies. Mick taught me how to do that. He released all his butterflies. Yeah, um, well, Mick, Mick uh, came on the gigs and he said, uh, Jess, we'll see you nervous. Before. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this is what you do. Oh, and and so he kind of did. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did, remember, I actually that. remember that incident. It's very, it's very good though. Very well um, myself. We thought it's time to talk to some of the backing singers. So uh, if we come over here, we have Claire and Louise. Now, uh, it's a big gig tonight, so it's first for quite a while. So just just like to hear how you're feeling. How are you feeling? Well, um, I don't know about you, Louise, but I feel good. I feel good. Oh, right. <laughs> I see, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, well then that's great, but it's a bit cold out here, I mean, it's a very cold location. Uh, does it matter where you play? Uh, how do you keep warm? Well, I think we can do a little bit of sand next to your fire. Right, okay. Fine, okay, um, right, uh, what about interests? Just uh, the, the, the two of you, uh, what do you do? Where, where do you go? I mean, what sort of, do you, do you go to the seaside at all? Uh, tell me a little bit. You are an ocean with my love, rushing after fire. Well, thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot. It's, it's been great talking to you. Uh, okay. I could, uh, I could, I could uh, go on all night. Uh, I could go on all night, but I've heard actually before you go away. Nice. I've heard that Claire, you've had eye problems. Uh, is it all right now? I, I have, but now you see, I can see clearly now. It's a fucking setup, isn't it? I can tell. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Nothing thronged. I mean, this must be a quiet moment for you because I'd imagine you'd normally be thronged, would you? Normally I'd be thronged because there aren't throngs around at the moment. I couldn't find my throng tonight, so no. I'm wearing shorts. I see. So, no, no, but I mean, there, 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 no, there's no huge crowd, so really no. Aren't. no. But normally, ordinarily, we found a quiet moment now yeah. for, for this beginning, but normally you would be, I uh, take it Well, you know, this is like a quiet, a quiet moment on the, on the life of a rock and roll. Actually, there's, there's a throng there. There he is, look, there's a fan there. <laughs> just, just around, if we could just bring the camera around a bit. There's a gentleman. Oh, one of the fans. He's one of the fans. Oh, right. What are we playing tonight? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I thought you knew. What's the boy's head? I have no clue. Do you know I think, sure. Actually, I think this is just the place here. Yeah. Oh, wow! Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Okay, I'll, I'll join you in a minute, Jason. All right, we'll do some acoustic numbers then. Right, okay. All right. This would be the organisation you were talking about. Yeah. This one that is quite good, actually. Yeah. Mate. Oh, Simon Rothwell. Give me a card. Yep. Give me that light on. Here we go. Go check it out. The red light's on, yeah? Is it? Isn't it? Oh, the top Yeah, it's recorded. Anyway, you just interrupted my train of thought then. This is Simon Rothwell, the lead guitar, uh, lead singer, rather than the lead guitarist. Although he... Chris? Yeah. Right? Yeah? If someone fucks off my drum kit. I'm sorry, what was that? Right, okay. Um, what about, do you have any problems with being in the band? I mean, I know there's a lot of problems with being a rock and roll star. There's, there's all the problems that go along with it, like, you know, the drugs and the women, the constant sex. Yeah. yeah. I mean, does it give no, no problem, problem with drugs? Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of them, yeah. There's no problem. No problem with um, the drugs? Yeah, not enough money to buy them, but besides that, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of them, yeah. yeah. Uh, are you stoned now? Or do you get stoned um, before you go on stage? Or? Funnily enough, um, yes I am. Right, yeah. okay, that's great. Are you planning to be stoned after the gig? Uh, I can't remember what it was at the stone. No. Oh. The only musician you can live without. I've not. 
keep making Jimmy all the time. What about drugs, Jason? How do you stand on drugs? You I don't stand on them, I take them. Um, and we've heard now, I mean, we have to ask you this reason. Because you're a, a rock band. Right. We all know, we all know what goes on in rock bands. In rock bands. And then we just really oh, want you to sort of, you know, just yeah. elaborate on this. You know? It's a bit cold. No, no, no. It is a bit cold. I mean, there's a certain subject of the, uh, the sort of substances. Substances? The illicit, maybe, substances that <laughs> go into what's this sort of things? Well, I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I, only had, I only had three before I came out. Three? Three. So, is this common practice to have three? <laughs> no, I didn't have to have time before, and I ran out of my way. Do you use a lot of cocaine or heroin? Anything I can get my hands on. All Sometimes right. I like have a, a mixed bag. Alright. It's like a goodie bag. Oh, right. Yeah. Chocolate assortment. I just take all sorts, uppers, downers, and then I'm right in the middle, and I don't know what's happening to me. Alright, how are you? Have you been taking anything this evening before you go on? No, I don't do drugs before I go on. You take them afterwards, yeah? Alright, this is good for the bananas. It's good for the bananas. Well, you, you've got your, you've got got your guitarist. You've got one of them. And you're the drummer. Huh? I take you, you've had your drum kit in there, do you? You've got your drum kit? Uh, I don't know, I'm an experimental drummer. You're experimental in what way? In the way that I, I drum with on, on bass. I don't use a drum carpet. I, see, I don't that's, use a drum kit. That's quite an experiment. Well, anyway, it's been great to talk to you, Chris. Anytime. Uh, okay. And, and uh, I'm going to have to go inside now because I am freezing to death. Okay, well, I look forward to hearing you slapping that bass or uh, whatever yes. it was well, you yes. did. Okay. Well, the banana's in preparation there. Can I have it now? Do what? Money. For the bill. Can I have it now? What money? For the bill. I don't know. I don't work for free. Sorry? Speak up. Can I speak up? Yeah, don't go near the microphone. Did you go out of focus? Of How's it? How are you feeling? Okay. Really? Very good. You're feeling ready for it? Yeah. You're about to get tanked up. Oh, no, I'm about to have a great traditional MLA so I don't completely go out of time. Alright, okay. Got it, good. Speak to you How are you feeling tonight? Well, uh, as always before, I think that's really funny. It's understandable, Jason, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a crowd gathering, you see. It is. It's pretty amazing. Suddenly, suddenly 8.30, everybody swarms into the pub, ready to enjoy an evening of what's... Yeah, well, it's kind of jargon. 8.30 was the only time in swarm time. Yeah, thank you. by what we're seeing tonight or what? Not in the slightest, no, none at all. Okay, the same one worked well. You get out there and you do your stuff. So To anybody who listens, that the Bananas is a man, is a band of many characters. Um, just just uh, talking about you personally, how how do you how do you fit into the band? It's just more like uh, sorry. I mean, how, how do you how do you fit into the band? Tell, tell me all the sort of the oh well, the, well it's drums and and bass and singer and singers and sax. Yeah, and then like uh, me, and uh, I'm sort of yeah, yeah. sort of a 
over there. Yeah, that's that's why I, I felt fit in the end. Because it's all space. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, um, it's there. Over there somewhere. Over there. Right, that's it. You know, that's great. Well, well, well I'm not the idea. I'm, I'm, I'm in there. Yeah. You know. So I, I wouldn't be actually playing out here. I've been there, but when I'm in there, I'm like, there. Well, that's, that's, that's yeah, that's great. Very old. This is called <coughs> Need Your Love So Bad. This is dedicated to Simon, Bitter and Twisted Scrimshaw. With no more joy. Guns N' Roses, Guns N' Roses, if you like that, mess. 
style. But I don't like you. Uh, what are you talking? Yes, we're talking about uh, Axel. Axel Rose. Rose was, uh, was having a go at you. Yeah, she was so having a go the other day. You're a bunch yeah. of talentless shits, I think he said. But, but you know, that's just jealousy, I think. It's Axel, really. Yeah, Axel. Yeah. 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 You played this this concert because there's, there's this girl who had some problems with her eyes. She's a blind girl. Oh my little blind angel, yeah. Your blind angel. Yeah, well, uh, after the gig, I didn't have any transport on, right? <laughs> I knew she'd be there, but by a little blind angel. No. And I was like, I was, I was like, uh, stoned. Yeah. Completely, I was, well, you know. So I said to the girl, yeah. blind angel. <laughs> Will you, uh, thanks, darling. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I said to my little blind danger, I said, uh, will you drive me on? So, uh, got in the car, and like, she set off, going. And like, I was just sitting there, I was saying, no, 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 it's, it's the wrong way. And, and, like, and like, about five seconds later, she crashed into a tree. That's sad. But it's well, she died. Yeah, well, there you are. And but so that, she's that's... a blind angel now. <laughs> but that's, that's just the way it goes, rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
know what it's all about tonight. We're not supposed to have bands on, are we? Because it's illegal. We can only do it on charity nights, all right? If you find me two blue buckets and keep throwing the money in, all right? There's no problem. It's for Longlands, you know, the handicap pays for the local children and that type of thing. Throw any coppers in. There's two buckets out there somewhere. As long as we do that, I might not finish up in court. I still have every chance to finish up in a court if they complain round about here. Do you want this band back tonight? I'm sorry. I'm getting a bit old, going a bit deaf. I can't hear a thing. Do you want this band back tonight? But I was in chance it. Yes! One more! Maybe two more! I knew you were going to say that. Uh, uh, I think you're going to watch that. Right, another dedication. <laughs> Fuck your asshole. Up your ass. This is Michelle. Marianne. This is Pat Arnold. Yeah. time he had a, had a look this is the aftermath of a big gig is obviously always going to be uh, almost as interesting as the gig itself so we're inside the uh, the actual headquarters of of, uh, of the, the bananas themselves yeah <laughs> well what a roll character there <laughs> uh, now I've been told by one of the uh, one of the girls downstairs I think I didn't didn't get those on film actually that this is the very door of the, the lead guitarist, the, uh, the axe man, um, Jason Reed, who we met earlier on uh, in, in great depth. You know, saw him in uh, many uh, interesting situations. I was just gonna, just gonna knock and, uh, and just see how he is in there. There's no reply. Uh, another go. All right, okay, well, well, we'll just go in. I think I'll just put the light on. There we are. If we can get in. Oh dear me. Uh, hello. Hello Jason. Jason. Hello Jason. Um, we remember us, we're, we're from the uh, the Bananas in Transit, In Bed with a Banana. The rockumentary. Do you remember? It's, it's uh, quite, a, quite a mess around here. Well, uh, so just wanted to just sort of get the, uh, the opinion of a rock legend that you're obviously after. Last night's big gig, you know, it was a huge success. Uh, how, just how did it go? You know, how, how do you feel now today, after the uh, after the the, the gig? I take it out on the cat. <laughs> so, Chris, how do you feel the rockumentary went? Hi. Thanks a lot. 
Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's what time is it now? Let's have a look. It's about. Uh, well, it's it's very very late now. It's almost half past six, Jason. Uh, the following Passes. evening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, of course. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is the aftermath of a rock and roll uh, party. The after after gig party. Then. Oh wow! It's yeah. what time is it again? Um, it's 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 half past six now. The well, following. It's half six in the morning. The, oh no, no, the evening. The the. Evening. Well, what a moment in rock and roll history. What a moment in rock and roll history. My proud to have been here, and so is Tess. Um, this is the woman I sleep with, nicely. Oh, I see. I remember doing uh, some songs. Oh right, yeah. So that would be that would be pretty much it. Yeah. Um, some of it I can't exactly really. remember which songs we did. No, no. But um, it seemed okay. Well, it's all right because we we've got it all in here. Really? It's all captured on film, so oh, you can. You can well, I could do with is, that because yeah, well, if I can remember them for next time. That's that's, that's very good. Well, uh, yo, yo oh, rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Right on. Good stuff. Right on. Chris and Graham again. Hello, Chris. Do you have anything to say about what you've experienced tonight? No. Okay. Where's, where's the chick gone? I'm proud to have been here to have experienced something which Axel Rose called a policy of insurance. Damn it. I'm proud. I'm proud to have been here.
Right. So what about the costume? <laughs> well, I, think costume this will I, thought, I, I thought I should <laughs> suit my image up a bit, because, uh, you know. So, uh, <laughs> so um, and, but it said, but I said I forgot that, so. Yeah, you got that, so. Here's a video about the socks, they're rather subdued. These are bobby socks, I show off my shapely calves, thank you very much. Get a shot of the shapely calves here, really. Will that kill it over? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Can you, just, can you just hoist up your trousers there? We can get a bit more of your leg. <laughs> bit of a leg. Oh! Right? Yeah, now we, uh, we have a, an exclusive interview with the, the lead guitarist of the band in Transit, Jason Reed. Jason, the biggest gig so far. Absolutely! Possessed. Well, after the last gig, I, I looked into my star charts oh, and, and I found it and I looked into the, um, the death of Jimi Hendrix. Yes. And um, it was the 21st of September, right. 1970. Yes. I was born on the 2nd of July, 1970. My God. And now, this is um, two, three months in the box, pushing three months. Yes. Well, you see, um, I read the, the um, Oliver. Love the teletext, the oracle of the great man called the Mary Vishnu Yogi Bird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so well, he wrote that the, uh, the child was when born in the state of limbo, the monthly of people for three months. Where after that period of limbo, the spirit of some deceased person will enter the child and um, be reborn. <laughs> Oh, I told her to find that out. 
you know, I'm actually possibly the reincarnation of a uh, reincarnation. Uh, was it Dwight? Dwight. Dwight Fishbane. Dwight Fishbane. Oh, oh this is not a TARDIS. Yes. So I'm practicing on the same. Oh, I used to play the country band. Nice. And uh, that's over Star Chat revealed. Is that? I was a little disappointed because I was really aiming for Jimmy. Yes, it's not. It's not quite him. Yeah, well, you know, I think um, you know, there's been rumours that. Um, Entered the body of Chris Hill. Oh, right. Quite late in this chat. Yes, I would say, you know, so it has been the state of Lake for a very long time. I don't think he's yet come out of it. It has been commented upon by many people that Chris Elwood does play the drummers like a guitarist. He does play the, the drums like a guitarist. It's strange enough, he plays the guitar like a drummer. <laughs> I don't know which, uh, which way around it should be, but it's quite, it's quite fascinating to watch. It certainly is an inspired. Inspired. It's the sticks. It's the sticks on the guitar. It's just, it's just amazing. You tap the notes, and it sticks. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I love playing fire. I really like fire. But, um, I like the thought of the world. So I love Who is this mysterious woman? <laughs> She's one of the oldest uh, groupies and one of the grumpiest. The well, that, well, that? Sort of can't lower down the evolutionary scale. <laughs> Yogi Bear has uh, forbids alcohol in his teachings, but um, 
Well, it's a slow process, and to, to be fully sincere, I must take my time in doing this. Yeah. So, um, until my conversion, which is planned for the year um, 2014, yeah. I shall continue to drink. Yeah. Chris, Chris, if we can talk to you over this, this drum. Oh, I mean, Chris, 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 this oh, is Get out of the way, all, the way, all you, you women. <laughs> leave him alone. <laughs> Unhang him. This must be very difficult to deal with, especially yeah. after dealing with the entire yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, hitting drums very yeah, hard. Uh, can, you, can you get it up after it? <laughs> Sorry? Can you, can you still get it up after it? <laughs> we'll Let's ask the groupies to it. Well, we'll be finding out later on, I'm sure, because this is an in-depth documentary. We, we, will, we will be going in bed with a banana. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Goofed with 
those Amazon ladies for the bed seat. Yes, we had a bit of a problem with the Amazon ladies. How disappointing. Yes, we're, we're trying our hardest to get something along the lines of the Amazon maybe ladies, but uh, we're sort of, you know, Thames ladies or something like Thames. that. Thames. Even with a loon. The loon, even. Loon ladies. <laughs> I mean, look at them, they're lusting after him. They can hardly keep their hands off him. <laughs> Could you tell us in your own words, your own words, how it went? How it went? How it went? How, how, just how did it go? It kind of started and finished. Was there a middle? Yeah. There I'm was not a middle. sure about the end because I got a bit lost. Yeah, you got a little lost towards the end. Yeah. But there was a definite middle to it. There was a definite middle section, and in yes. fact, in some of the songs, we even have middle eights. Yes. Which is a middle within a middle. Oh, right. Kind of like your inner innards. That's very complex to the, the non Well, you're testing that. Yeah, I suppose so. I look the at them there. There they are, the middles there. Very complex middles, though. Yes, I suppose so. Where's the bottom? Just where is the end, Jason? Well, what is the end? Where is the end? What would the end be? Like, the end. What? What? What terms do you define the end? I, mean, I suppose it's, it's very just like the universe. I mean, what is the end of the universe? If so, there is an end of the universe. And is what there, is there a stopping? Is there and a restaurant there? You know, there the could be a restaurant there, but what would it serve? I suppose what purpose would it serve? Indeed, because no, I don't think many people get there. It's the end of the universe. No, not many. But maybe the bananas. Maybe the bananas are the that game. the end of the universe. We could reach that pinnacle, I think. Do you think it's it's in it's in the uh, in the stars? Do you think it's your destiny to reach the end of the universe? I don't know. I think you know. Is our destiny to reach the end of the universe, or is our destiny to create it? That, that create the universe, point. a spiraling Milky Way of bananas, <laughs> Milky Way, where heavenly music away. plays, and there is love, peace, and hope in the world. It's certainly a point. But moving back. To <laughs>
I'm waiting for a sign. A sign? A sign from somewhere. Yeah, 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 I see. Well, um... Oh, here's your face. Hello. Hello. Are you pissed again? Tonight, I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive, and the world I'm turning inside out. Yeah. I'm floating around in ecstasy, so.
escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. I'm just. Well, you can try looking in the witch report. <laughs> She loves this child. There's still some Jimi Hendrix coursing through his veins. Yeah. It's a shame because um, I like Jimi Hendrix. Um, Chris is dead. So, Chris. Hi. What do you think? Uh, how, how do you. Uh, oh dear. What? Who's saying? Did you hear that? He's doing that to annoy me. He's doing that to annoy me. Oh, indeed. As you can see, the relations between the band are very good. Oh dear. Um, this is a... Yes, it's a great actually picture. very affectionate, as you can see. Yes. Do you ever see any of the old band members? Uh, Johnson no, or, or really. Simon? Louise or Claire? None of those? No. Really? Well, you spend yeah. no time with your own... Well, we've moved actions. on. We've yes, moved, you what have. Do you say? It's, it's true. It's one of those things that happens. It's a new direction. This is, yeah. this is what your life entails now. Yeah, so. in the universe. I'll go back to Primrose Street to recharge the batteries on this video again. Time takes a cigarette Puts it in your mouth you pull on your finger, then another finger, then a cigarette. The water wall is calling, it lingers, then you forget. Oh, 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 you're a rock and roll suicide. You're too old to lose it, too young to choose it. And the clock waits so patiently on your song You walk past the cafe But you don't eat when you've lived too long Oh no, no, no You're 
a rock and roll suicide. Shit breaks the snarling as you stumble across the road. But the day breaks instead, so you hurry home. Don't let the sun blast your shadow. Don't let the milk float grab your mind. They're so natural, religiously unkind. Oh no, love, you're not alone. 